Hello, my name is Frank Everett and welcome to Sotheby's Jewelry. Well, it's official. Red carpet season is upon us and we kick it off with the Golden Globes this Sunday night, followed by a whole series of red carpet moments leading up to, of course, the Oscars, what we like to call the Super Bowl of Jewelry. And I'm gonna share with you today my top 10, maybe it's 11, red carpet moments of all time. I'm in my tuxedo and I hope you enjoy. First, let's go all the way back to 1931 and take a look at the beautiful Norma Shearer. Now, back in these days, ladies bought their own jewels. She had a little bit of an advantage because she was married to Irving Thalberg, one of the founders of MGM, but it was her responsibility to look glamorous at all times. And when she won her Oscar in 1931, she looked like the classic deco lady with strap bracelets lined up on her arm and beautiful layered long necklaces. So I love this look and I think it's really the quintessential deco look. And who doesn't love Audrey Hepburn? When she won her Oscar in 1954, she was a woman in her early 20s and she perfectly appropriately chose just a simple pearl earring with her super short haircut. It was a clean style that she was developing on her own and she was doing this look decades before Twiggy or Jean Shrimpton and I just love it. Next, we go to the queen of Hollywood, Miss Elizabeth Taylor. What I love here is that she chose a full suite of bulgari. She wasn't afraid to wear earrings, ring, bracelet, and the Grand Dame necklace, and she just looks amazing. Certainly one of the greatest moments in Oscar jewelry history has to be 2009, Angelina Jolie wearing the fabulous Lorraine Schwartz emerald earrings. These emeralds really shook the world in terms of fashion, and every woman in the world wanted to own them. And now, here in Knightley, 2006 Oscars wearing a vintage full green necklace, I think the entire look is just perfect. So who could forget Gwyneth Paltrow winning her Oscar for Shakespeare in Love, wearing beautiful Harry Winston princess necklace with little pear-shaped fringe and her beautiful pink Ralph Lauren dress. She just looked like a princess and that's the name of the necklace, the princess necklace. Now let's go to the south of France, the Cannes Film Festival in 2003 to one of my other favorites, Nicole Kidman. Now, I like this look for several reasons. She's wearing bouldery jewels. She has two bracelets and I always say, if you find a bracelet you like, better buy two. And she pairs the necklace with her Pucci print dress and actually uses the necklace as a halter for the dress, which I think is just ingenious. So this is one of my favorite looks. It's right for the south of France and it's right for her. In 2003, Julianne Moore decided to wear earrings from Boucheron, a brand that had just been relaunched by Tom Ford, who was her good friend. So it made perfect sense that she wore a gown by Tom Ford. And these fabulous emerald Boucheron earrings set in black gold they were just perfect for her with her red hair. Julia Roberts at the Golden Globes in 2010 couldn't be more confident. She'd already won an Oscar, she'd already made her money, and she decided that she could show up looking exactly the way she wanted to look. Simple black dress, easy hair, and this fabulous 60s long sautois necklace from Van Cleef & Arpels. And of course, our friend Sarah Jessica Parker, the queen of the brooch, went to the 2014 Met Gala with brooches all up her beautiful white glove. I think this look is just as glamorous as it could possibly be, and leave it to Sarah Jessica Parker to find yet another way to wear a brooch. So we have to finish off with my favorite from last season, Margot Robbie wearing a vintage Van Cleef & Arpel zipper necklace, completely unexpected, gorgeous on her, and really, really got a lot of attention. So there you have my all-time favorite red carpet jewelry moments so far. I look forward to a really great season coming up. I hope you're gonna be watching too. And I'll be posting all of my favorites all season long on my Instagram, so go ahead and follow me at Frank B. Everett, and we'll enjoy together.